In this video, I will discuss an apparently simple question with a counterintuitive answer. The question is as follows. If a family has two kids and one of the kids is a boy, what is the probability that the other is a girl? It's important to point out that we don't know if the boy is an older or younger sibling. All we know is that there is at least one boy in the family. I imagine you think as I did, that it's a 50-50 chance. Half the time the other sibling's a girl, half the time it's a boy. Interestingly, that answer is incorrect. To see this visually, I've set up an experiment. Here I have 40 pieces of paper, where blue represents boy and pink represents girl. Now I will randomly rearrange these pieces to represent 20 different families. Because the question requires that there is at least one boy in the family, I can eliminate all the pairs which are pink and pink. Now I will rearrange all the pieces. According to our prediction, we should have found that there are just as many boy-boy pairs as boy-girl pairs, but as you can see, that's not the case in our example. To confirm these results, we would have to repeat the experiment many times. Luckily, that's not necessary because instead, we can use math. One way to solve this problem is by drawing a diagram. The first branch of the diagram will correspond to the older child. The oldest could either be a boy or a girl, and both are equally likely, so we'll write probability is equal to one half on both branches. Next, let's continue the step for the younger child. Now we see that there are four equally likely possibilities, boy, 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 girl, girl, boy, and girl, girl. Finally, we eliminate girl, girl, just as we did in the experiment to find the solution. If a family has two kids and one of them is a boy, there is a two-thirds majority that the other sibling is a girl.